How's it hanging, fellas? I'm Arush, and this is another episode of Grand Theft Auto The Trilogy, and in today's episode starts off unlike most episodes, because usually I start an episode on my safe house, and I usually say the intro, and I'm like, on oh, today's episode we'll do this mission. In today's episode we're already doing a mission, because fuck this mission. Fuck this mission, fuck whoever made it, fuck all the people involved in this fucking game. Fuck Grove Street Games, fuck Rockstar, fuck you guys, and fuck me, on top of it all. This mission fucking sucks, I died, I fucking, last episode like, pretty long, and then I failed the mission, and I was just like, fuck this. I don't wanna have like an hour long episode just because this, I started this mission. So I'm like, fuck this goddamn bullshit, I'm going to fucking do whatever the fuck, and fuck off. Fuck this mission. The mission involves me blowing down, blowing up, I guess, a plane. Shooting down a plane, that's what I meant to say. Shooting down a plane, collecting the cocaine that falls out of it, and then getting the fuck back to the construction site with the cocaine. Problem with it is that it's kind of fucking difficult. And I have a lot of trouble getting this fucking mission done because it's bullshit and it sucks and once the fucking FBI got on on my ass last episode they obliterated me my entire health bar in like five seconds and then I gave up on my life and I'm like fuck this fucking game and fuck this fucking mission yeah, so here we are in a very good mood very fucking brilliant episode brilliant opening to a brilliant fucking episode Wish I could jump out of this fucking car and drown it. Yeah. Pains me in my heart because I fucking hate beginning an episode and being inconsistent with my episodes. Like, all the episodes so far I've begun except for the first one because, you know, I started in the opening credits. That's how I like to do it. All the fucking episodes so far I've begun at my safe house. I was like, how's it hanging? This is what we're gonna do today. You got it, alright, great, let's go. And now all of a sudden I'm like fucking in the middle of a mission. It almost feels like I'd never fucking... It's like just an extension of last episode. Like should not be even the next episode. Fucking garbage piece of shit. Colombians here are bulletproof for some fucking reason. Don't know what the fuck the reason is. To piss me off even further, I guess. Alright, the boat's doing a cool beat to keep us uh, happy. I'll tell you a joke, guys. You guys want to hear a joke? Oh, hold on. I'm gonna show you something cool. Check it out. Yeah, the moon's slowly crashing into Earth. It always pisses me off in video games. Why the fuck is the moon always this fucking enormous? Like, even now, with the smallest moon Im possible in this game, it's still fucking way bigger than it should be. Damn it, every fucking time the packages get scattered up there. I do not understand. Last time I did this mission, the packages were scaring, uh, scaring around in the water. Scattering, not scaring. What the fuck am I saying? My throat fucking hurts. My eye fucking itches for some reason. Fucking okay, nothing goes my way today. It's an annoying fucking day. Well, perhaps... Hmm, maybe a different approach. Maybe what I should do is instead of going by boat, because that does not fucking benefit me one bit, trying to approach this fucking mission by boat, maybe what I should do is go get the Colombian car, like I just did. Different strategy I get. Also, I don't really get what the fuck is with the bags. You gotta like run them over to pick them up? Like what, being next to them is not good enough? Alright. And what I'm gonna do now... Oh fuck, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, this is what I'm gonna do. This is the part of the plan, don't worry about it. Fuck this fucking game. It's all part of the plan, little fucking lamp post getting in my way, that was all planned. Don't worry about it. Worry about your fucking self. Not me. Nobody does anyway. Look at the jacket, it actually kinda... Kinda looks like a leather jacket. Like the, the back of it, kinda like... Fucking... 
Thank God I'm wearing a leather jacket. It might protect me from the bullets. Probably one, but better than being naked, I guess. Yeah, so fuck this mission, like I said. Now that my car is fucking blown up and I got no means of getting around. Uh, the plan is... That's a speedboat over there. Why the fuck you didn't told me that? Ah, shit, this fucking game. There is no pain sprays close by. See, last episode I blew up a helicopter and then I gained five stars. So maybe if I do it with four stars, it will be a bit easier. Technically should be, but practically it will probably be just as difficult. And so last episode I uh, got out of the boat, I tried to get into a car, <clears throat> and then FBI showed up and fucking obliterated me. So that was a lot of fun. Not to mention, there's not too many fucking spots in this game where you can get out of a boat and not fucking drown. Getting out of, out of a boat in this game is like a fucking gamble. You either fucking do it and teleport to the surface somehow, or you fucking die. Nice, beautiful job. Just as I meant to. People are having a nice walk in the park. And here's police fucking terrifying them. Opening fire on me. Busted! Oh, you piece of fucking filth. I meant to get in the cop car. I just immediately get busted. No fucking explanation, no chance, no nothing. Why did I get busted? Fuck you, that's why. I meant to tell you a joke. Alright, here's the joke. Uh, there's three gays sleeping in a bed. And one of them wakes up. And he says, Man, I had a dream someone was jacking me off. And the second one wakes up and he's like, Man, I had a dream someone was jacking me off too. And the guy in the middle wakes up and he's like, Really? I had a dream I was skiing. You're done laughing? I can continue to talk? Okay. Thank no, no need to thank me. I know I made your day with that joke, I know, I know. Give me the fucking car, I'll take your fucking life. I would take his life if I hit the time for that. Oh my god, this fucking mission. I knew there was just gonna be this one fucking mission that's gonna prove to be a pain in the fucking dick. The fuck was the reason I failed this time? I got busted? Out of nowhere, just fucking cop shows up heroically, all fucking awesome, probably got a fucking badge for that. I mean, a fucking medal. Fucking piece of shit, I hope he fucking choked on it. Bullshit, this fucking game. Fuck this car, this car sucks. Fucking piece of garbage, stinking piece of shit. I hate how I approach this mission with the Patriot, that's the bulletproof, because... Oh my fucking god. I approached this mission with my bulletproof Patriot. But the problem with that is that I want to keep the bulletproof Patriot. For as long as I possibly can. Can I not fucking crash for a sec? I'm on the edge of giving up on this fucking game. I'm on the edge of giving up in general. And this ain't helping me much. I think what I should do once I'm done with this video is I should redecorate my house, paint the walls red with my fucking brains. Reverse into my garage, keep the Patriot, I, I gotta have it. I can't just throw it away, it's just too good of a fucking gift. I can't, I can't fucking receive a gift from Ray and then tell him to fuck off. He was too good of a friend. What kind of a friend would I be if I just tossed my other friend's gifts away? It's the cabby. The most iconic car in the game that I for some reason never drove. I really love how this car looks. It's probably the most iconic looking car. In Grand Theft Auto. I, I think Grand Theft Auto 5, uh, San Andreas I mean. Well Vice City definitely has these. Because you get a leopard print version of it. In this game there's a red version variant of this car. So it's cool that Vice City and Free have a different variant of this car. But I'm not sure that San Andreas has these. Trigger the taxi mission. 
Or change the radio station by accident, whatever. Both fucking work. I cannot believe I failed with one star wanted level. Because some cop decided to fucking use his secret ninja techniques and teleport to me. Oh my fucking god. You know, there's not really any point of me killing the Colombians when I arrive, so maybe I should stop doing that. You guys like my joke, by the way? That's the joke I always tell. That's probably the least offensive joke I know. I could tell you more jokes, but I'm afraid you'll probably unsubscribe and never fucking want to listen to me ever again. Ah, uh, what do you guys call these things? They're called boys, right? Boys. Kind of like boys, except more emphasis on the I in it. Like, boys? I don't know, dumb fucking name, I guess. Alright, maybe this time I won't fucking crash the Colombian car. Maybe I'll actually pull it off. Alright, that Colombian there, though, has to go. He is uninvited. He was never invited to the party. I don't know what the fuck he's doing there with this blue-ass fucking shirt. Looking piece of garbage. Rocket launcher. See, usually, I don't know what the fuck is going on with this mission right now, because usually when I did this mission, the packages would sc scatter in the water, not the fucking landing pad. So that's a bit weird. Check it out. I'm gonna pull it off. I don't think I have the reach for it. Like the plane's too far away. Calculated. I played. T I main soldier. And you too, guys. Don't worry. I'm gonna rocket jump and market garden the fucking plane out of the sky. Nope, happened the same way as last time. Oh, by the way, last episode, one of the ways I failed this mission... Oh, Jesus Christ, watch out. Fucking drunk drivers. Is because the package I was supposed to pick up, one of them, got stuck in the ground. And I could not fucking pick it up anymore. So yeah, that's one hell of a way to fail this mission. Headshot only. Nice. I was kidding about meaning soldier, I mean sniper in TF2. Alright, let's try it again. This time let's try not to fucking tip the car over. And I'm gonna try, for the love of God, somehow, maybe, make my way with the cartel car. To the, uh, appearance tray. Yeah, so, if I pulled it off, if this... Or maybe if this mission didn't glitch out the first time I did it, or the package got stuck in a fucking wall, I would have actually succeeded and I wouldn't have to fucking record it again. Alright. We got four stars. I wonder if there's like a, some kind of bribe around the... around here. See, that's another thing about short side veil. I do not remember the... Oh, God. Why are there Colombians? Many of them. I expected there to be just a little bit of them. Am I supposed to approach this mission differently? Like, is there like another way to approach it without the... Boat? Well, the game tells me to use a boat. So I did. Look, at least I'm actually in a car and I have a chance of actually delivering the spank. Unlike all the other attempts where I immediately got fucking blasted by FBI as soon as I fucking got to land. Or I got arrested by some fucking teleporting cop. That guy's, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this would never happen in the original version of the game. Therefore, this version of the game is a pile of fucking stinking dog shit. Alright, the playing spray is up there. Looks pretty easy. Might have four stars, but they don't do. They ain't doing too good of a job trying to fucking kill me. Except for this guy, this guy's being a pain in the ass. That's the pain spray. Oh my god, it's so tiny. Can I even fit in it? That's the smallest pain spray in the entire game. Nice. I did it. I got rid of the. Fuck off. 
fuck off, officer. Fucking pieces of goddamn subhuman trash. Fucking cops, man. Fucking taxi drivers too. Get the fuck out of my way. I'm a tank. Just push them out of the way. I meant to record Ark Survival Evolved today, and I honestly, I'll be honest with you, I just did not fucking want to play that game. Maybe I'll play it for like 12 minutes and fucking turn it off. No. There's this one cop scream I just heard. It kind of reminded me of the fucking... The Smosh skit, where like, I think it was Ian who was dressed as a cop. Remember that? Where he was like, stop right there, screaming that. Yeah. Good old Smosh. I used to watch them a lot. But I was like... I, I stopped watching around when they started to have like a lot of more of these people that are now there. Because it's like... I don't know, man. Like at first when these people who are like now them like main cast on Smosh appeared, they were just like supporting characters. And I was like, that's cool that they got some people to do the supporting characters. But I kind of like when the supporting characters were just like their other friends. I don't know, it's like commercialized, you know, it's not no longer just two, two dudes doing dumb fucking skits and dumb fucking food battles and songs, epic Zelda or whatever it was fucking called. Ransom? Oh no, Asuka's dead. I got you precious Maria, if you don't want her face to look like she fell out, blah blah blah. No, oh, Asuka. I liked her a lot. That's it, guys. We approached the end of the game. I don't like this. Give me the stinger. It's way better. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this. We approached the end of the game, guys. Yeah, the last mission we have is a Catalina mission. This is the last mission in the game. But we still have a Donald Love mission to do. Let's go do that one in that case. How long is this episode? Stop shooting at me. Are the Yakuza my enemies now, or what the fuck? Cause like, I never betrayed the Yakuza. Man, Kane, she's dead, Asuka's dead, everybody's dead. I'm such a bummer. I was right. I was not expecting I'll be actually beating this game this week. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Such a long fucking time. How long have I been recording San Andreas? Like a month? It was like a month of me playing just San Andreas. And and Grand Theft Auto 3 I beat in a week. My god, this game is fucking short. What does Donald Love have for me? Decoy. A lesson in business, my friend. If you have a unique commodity, the world and his Honestly, I thought this was the mission where Donald Love disappears. He leaves you with like a message like what? Wait, so you mean I can do the Catalina mission? Get over there, pick up the van, and act Maybe if I boy. went to do the Catalina mission. Nah, I think about it. How does doing missions for Donald Love actually gets me closer to getting revenge on Catalina? Hey, Fuck off. And so I think Catalina's probably the most unique Grand Theft Auto villain. Not only she's probably the only female Grand Theft Auto villain. She's the only one that was like the villain in two of the games. Because like when you think about it, her appearance in San Andreas, she was also evil in that one. Like she was one of your girlfriends, sure, but she was fucking evil. Why do I have to make my way to Short Side Vale? I don't want to fucking go there. I'm gonna go anywhere but Short Side Vale. Yeah, so here's the plan for today. I guess I'm gonna finish this episode. Uh, collect the packages. Oh, come on, why aren't you going? You too, go. Nice. Love doing that. Yeah, because the Stinger looks like a Hot Wheels car. They should add Grand Theft Auto cars to uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed. Yeah, because the Stinger, El Diablo, Stallion. Mafia Sentinel. 
Actually, they probably shouldn't just add Grand Theft Auto 3 cars. Like, if you had to pick an iconic car from each game. Well, 3 would probably be the Diablo Stallion. Uh-oh, why was there a cop car there? Suspicious. Very sus. Very sus. What's this? Hmm, it's an armored truck. And immediately, I got six stars on my ass. What you gotta do is survive for three minutes. Without the uh, blown up. Well, thank God this car almost acts like a tank because they're probably gonna not fucking knock me over. I mean, look, they're just bumping into me and I'm just like pushing them out all over the place. They're pushovers, that's what they are. They're tiny, silly little cars. I don't have a st Oh god, no. What the fuck? How did he flew like that? No, wait, come on, I can make it. I'm just gonna stand here. It's alright. I can make it. I made it. I made it off a fucking mountain, that's what I did. That's what I meant to do. I love that I have to drive all the way back. In a normal let's play, people would cut that part out. But in my let's play, who the fuck knows what the fuck will happen to me on my way there. Also, I don't feel like fucking cutting out shit. God damn it. If I'm gonna start cutting out stuff, I might as well cut out half of this fucking let's play. Like I could cu cut out all the failed attempts at blowing up that fucking plane. And then I'll just show you the successful run. You know, it's sometimes when I record a video and it gets like really fucking long with my attempts at doing something, I actually do cut out a lot of stuff. That mission was getting very close to one of those. Vice City, original Let's Play of Vice City. I remember that, uh... I remember that I cut out... the bank heist missions, because I could just, for the love of me, couldn't fucking pull it off. I mean, I eventually did, but, like, it took me a lot of tries. So I actually cut out a lot of the attempts on doing that bank heist. Oh, but the only thing I showed you is my, my failures. So you would know how many times I failed, so I wouldn't pretend, like, oh, I got it on the first try. No, I got it on, like, the seventh try. What I figured out eventually is that what I failed to do... Fuck you. What I failed to do... What are they doing here? What I failed to do is that when you get out of the bank, it's a better strategy to kill everyone and then uh, get rid of the... It's a better strategy to kill everybody and then... Uh, make a run for it. But I was trying to make a run for it immediately and that didn't work out all that great. What if I make my way to Staunton Island? Is there like a, like a best strategy of what the fuck to do in this mission? I just gotta drive around for two minutes. And not get arrested. Or blow my car up like I did before. Lips 106. And they play pretty cool music from Lips 106. Oh my god, they're bumping into each other, doing all this crazy shit. Uh-oh. Don't push me, officer. Watch out. <laughs> nice. Both of them got in there? Nice. Stop bumping into me, you fucking assholes. Can I get this car fixed and just fucking remove the cops? Or is it not the case, because I have to lure the cops away? I'm also getting a lot of damage. Uh-oh. What's with their sirens? They're like broken or something? Don't know why I made my way over here, but like... I figured this place has a lot of straight roads where I could just go full speed and... Try to just outrun the cops. Short side veil is pretty small. It's a lot of turns, a lot of short roads. See, it seems to be working out. Nobody's chasing me. Nice uh, amber spot, officer.
Yeah, I was not expecting, I'll be honest with you, not expecting to finish this fucking game, like, today. So I'm, like, right at the end. How many more missions does, does Donald Love have for me? After I'm done with his missions, I don't believe there's more missions to do. Oh my god, the military got involved. Are tanks gonna chase me? Because the, there's roadblocks made for mil by military trucks. Those damn military trucks I keep talking about. 22 seconds. I really should have fucking collected the packages, you know? There's a big fuck up on my side, but I'll, I'll still do it. Even though we're right at the end of the game. But the packages will actually come in real fucking handy at the very end of the game. So don't worry about it. I could just start cheating. Nice, we did it. How long is this episode? I love how they all disappeared immediately after the fucking mission was completed. I'm a little, I'm kind of sad about Asuka. I like Asuka. Now she's dead. I'm sad. Hug me, guys. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I really run out of things to say, have I? Nothing really interesting that happened recently, I don't know. Nothing for me to tell you. No gaming news, no nothing. Pretty much talked about all the interesting subjects I had to talk about. There's always an episode like that whenever there's like nothing interesting going on around. I just kind of don't know what the fuck to say, I'm just... Might as well say nothing, really. Oh yeah, I finished reading one of the Love's Disappearance. I finished reading, uh, I believe it's the sixth chapter of Book of... I mean, Sword of Destiny, Witcher book. This this cut seems really weird. There's like a box here, and Donald Love is gone, and Claude is like, what the fuck? Okay, I guess I'll leave. Do you think that that place actually exists on top of that building? That was the mission I thought we had left for Don't Love. So yeah, Don't Love is gone. And that's it. Oh, you know what sucks? I'll go to collect the packages now, but while well, Colombians hate me, Jamaicans hate me. I think the Yakuza hates me too. So there's a lot of people who want me dead around here, but Short Side Veil. Vale. I still haven't pissed off the gang members on Short Side Veil, vale, even though there's a lot of Colombians in Short Side Veil. Vale. Uh, but there's also another gang in Shortside Vale, which are called like the... I don't know, they're kind of a reference to the Bloods and the Cribs, right? They're supposed to be like a street gang. I think that's what they're supposed to reference. I don't remember what the fuck they're called, because they're really dumb. But yeah, we have phone missions on Shortside Vale, so we're not exactly done y yet. But we're really close to be done. Yeah, I know, it's 28 minutes. Gonna put this away, I don't know what for, but I'm gonna drive it around, maybe. And so last mission we have is for Catalina in Shortside Vale. There's a safe house on Shortside Vale. Next episode, I'm probably gonna collect packages in between. And then I'm gonna I don't know, do some bullshit, I guess, finish this game. Do the phone missions, and then maybe if the phone missions, I'll pull them off quickly. I think I should, because those are really easy. And then we're gonna finish, I guess, next episode is gonna be the final one. Can't believe it. That we're done this fucking quickly. It almost feels a little bit... strange, like that shouldn't be the case. I don't know, it's like... I was expecting this game to at least last like a week and a half. And it's not even a full week and I'm already done with it. I guess I overestimated how long this game is, but whatever. See you fellas in the next episode, bye.